here we are in lesson three. And this is our first video of lesson three. In lesson three, we're going to be using exponents to multiply and divide by powers of 10. Okay, so we're still looking at multiplying and dividing whole numbers by powers of 10 using those place value charts that are in your dry erase sleeves. But we're also expressing whole numbers, whole number powers of 10 in exponent form, standard form, and as repeated multiplication. So we be talking about exponents. Okay, and we are going to be using your book. So please go to page 25. Page 25, it's a chart that looks like this. Okay, and we're just going to keep it in your book. That's going to be counted as some of your notes. And it's exactly like this one right here on our screen. Okay, so if you need to pause me and get your book and get to page 25, go ahead and do that. Um, our goal is to complete this chart using only tens as factors. Factors are numbers that multiply together. So both numbers are going to be tens on this chart. Look at the first equation. Okay, so here we see 100. How can we write a product that equals 100 by using only tens? Okay, and that might sound a little confusing to you. But the other way to say it is using only tens, what two numbers multiply together to make 100. And hopefully you're thinking 10 times 10. Okay, make sure you're writing that down. 10 times 10. Those are the two factors that multiply together to make the product of 100. Okay? All right. Now we're going to represent 10 times 10 on the place value chart using as few dots as possible. Okay, so let's put one dot here. That's 10, right? Okay, and then we're going to multiply that by 10. 10 times 10, and that's going to make one dot over here in the hundreds place, right? 10 times 10 equals 100. All right. Do you see how our two tens are represented in our model? Right? We have one 10, and then we're multiplying it by another 10, which makes 100. And there's our two tens. All right. We can use an exponent, an exponent to represent how many times we use the same number. Okay. Let me see if I can write the word exponent up here for you. Yeah, I'm just going to make it in capital so you can see it very well. Exponent, okay? And basically an exponent is going to show how many times you use the same number, okay? You might have used exponents before, but I just want to make sure that you understand what an exponent is, and you'll see in just a minute. Okay, so in this case, we have 10 as a factor, right? Here's our two factors of 10. And how many 10s did we multiply to get to 100? How many 10s did we multiply? We multiplied two of them, right? Okay, so when we write very large numbers using only 10s as factors, it takes up less space on a page. So scientists who use these super long numbers, they're able to use exponents to make it smaller. Okay, it's kind of like a mathematical abbreviation. All right, so it's called exponential form. Let me just add that up here for you. Exponential form. That just means your oops. We're using exponents to write in exponential form. Okay, now 100 is not a very large number, but we're going to use it to practice our exponential form. Okay, uh, let me get my pen here. All right, make sure you're writing this on page 25 in your notes. Um, we used 10 two times to get 100, so we're going to use the exponent of 2. All right. 
So over here in exponential form, we're going to write 10, and then we're going to write a small 2 up here. Okay, and that is in exponential form. And we see that 10 times 10 and 100 and 10 to the second power are all different ways to represent 100, right? Okay, now let's go down to here. 1,000 is how many times as much as 100? 1,000 is 10 times as much as 100, right? And 100 is how many times as much as 10? 100 is 10 times as much as 10. So how can we write 1,000 using only 10s? Over here, we're going to write 10 times 10, that would be 100, times 10 more, that would be 1,000, right? 10 times 10 is 100, 100 times 10 is 1,000, okay? So now we're going to put it on our place value chart using as few dots as possible. So we're going to start with 10, right? 10 times 10. Okay, you're writing this all down on page 25. And then that 10, that 100, right? 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. Just one dot in the thousands place that represents 1,000. Okay, now how many tens did we use? We used three. So now we're going to write 10 to the third power, okay? And that is in exponential form. 10 to the second power is two tens. 10 to the third power is three tens, okay? Now you're gonna go to the next page, which is page 26. It looks like this, okay? And we have 10,000, right? 10,000 now. So you could do this part first or this part first or even this part first, right? We're going to start with 10, right? So we're thinking 10,000 is 10 times 10. Sorry, my zeros aren't coming out very good. 10 times 10, that's 100. 100 times 10 Oh, I didn't write times 10. We know when we go over to the left one time, we're multiplying by 10. So we don't really need to write it there, but I'll just add it to help you. 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. And 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. Okay, so how many 10s do we have there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Right, we started with 1. And then we multiplied three times. So that's 10 to the fourth power. Okay, catching on? All right, you try the 100,000 on your own. I'll give you just a minute or two to do that. You're writing it down. You're showing it on the place value chart. And... You're writing the exponential form. Okay, you're starting with 10, right? 10 times 10 is 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. 10,000 times 10 is 100,000. Okay, so we have 10, that's where we started, right? One arrow times 10, that's 100. Another arrow times 10, that's 1,000. Another arrow times 10, that's 10,000. And one more arrow times
times 10, that's 100,000. And how many tens did you have? Five, right? So 10 to the fifth power is the same as 100,000, okay? And 10 to the fourth power is the same as 10,000. Now I want you to look and see, do you see any patterns as far as the exponent here and the number of zeros? Do you see any patterns between the exponent and the number of zeros? Yes, the number of zeros, let's get a different color, oh, let's highlight. Okay, the number of zeros in the product, there's four zeros, is the same as the number of zeros in the, won't let me highlight that, in the exponent. Do you see that? Four, four, five, five, three, three. Okay, that's pretty interesting. It's also equal to the number of tens that are multiplied together. Did you notice that? Four zeros, four tens, four in the exponent. Five in the exponent, five zeros, five tens. Okay, that can help you with some patterns moving forward. All right, so here is one million. Don't go on and do 10, just do one million by yourself. Okay, I'll give you a minute to do one million, all three parts. Okay, starting at 10, right, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. Times 10. And I have six zeros. How many tens do I have? One, two, three, four, five six tens. Okay. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Sorry, my writing isn't so great there. Six tens. And that means my exponent is going to be 10 to the sixth power. All right. Excellent job. I'll see you in the next video. Good work. Thank you so much for sticking with us here in video one. Uh